Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a long time since I've made a video, but there have been a lot of developments in the field of AI. So today we are going to take a look at something known as Firebase Studio. Now this is really interesting because we are seeing a lot of vibe coding tools out there and Google has also jumped into this race. So this is how the interface of Firebase Studio looks like. What it basically does is you can give it a prompt and then it goes out, creates a prototype for it. Then you have the feature to deploy it as well using Firebase. So let's take a look at what we can build. So I've given it a basic prompt to create a planner app, which lets us add tasks also. So now we have a button of prototype with AI. As soon as we click that, it creates a VS code environment for us over the web. And the best part is that it starts creating a blueprint for the app. Now, this is something unique, which I haven't seen in other wipe coding tools, but this is really exciting because it creates all the features that are required in this particular blueprint, which is drag and drop task, set due dates, task categorization, calendar view, etc. And another great thing is that it creates style guidelines, what colors I want what kind of layout I want, what kind of typography I want. And if I want to edit it, I can just click on this icon and edit this. But right now, if it is good, let's just go ahead and click this prototype, this app. Then it will go on and it will start creating all the necessary files for us. We'll wait for it to complete. Now it has written the code files and it is checking for errors. Now this is good because it proactively checks for all the errors that could be there and tries to resolve it. We can also go ahead and see all the files that it created and we can see the blueprint.md which contains the blueprint that was created. So this is how it looks like in the first shot. So if I click add task, I can see a new task has been created, but I can see the UI is a little bit janky right now. We can ask it to make changes to it. Let's see how it performs when it comes to making changes to the app. I really like the UI that Firebase Studio has offered here. It's pretty neat and clean and I can see the code files, the chat area and the preview as well. It has completed writing the code and it's checking for errors and fixing them. So we can also see blueprint.md. This is the file and we can make changes to it and it will start following that. Great. So it does follow along. I asked it to create a full web app and it has followed the command. So I think the model underlying is really good. And Firebase Studio is a really, really good option out there for wipe coding. Also, we have this publish button here. And the best part is if we click on publish, it is directly integrated with Firebase. So we can have a project up and running, which is hosted on Google Cloud and the database is in Firebase uh, and we can deploy it over the web. So we can see that it comes with this particular publish your app section. I can click on next. It will start creating Firebase project. It will connect to the cloud billing account and our app will be deployed. So I think this is a really good option if you're starting to build some kind of MVP. So do check it out and put your thoughts in the comment. I hope you like the video and I'll be back with another one.